Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HTBX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. If you're not sure what I mean by 30 minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. So if you go there, I'll explain in detail. Nice day on this one. Now, granted, it did pull back a little bit from its highs. I mean, it started off the day very solid with the gap all the way up here, ran up to that point, and then it did pull back, but it's not like the price totally crashed or anything like that. In fact, to really best illustrate that, the first annotation and adjustment that needs to be made is I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this level of support now up to 55 cents, and or excuse me, 56 cents. And from that angle, ask yourself, well, what direction did that adjustment need to be made? Well, in the higher direction. And whenever levels of support need to be adjusted higher, I mean, don't get me wrong, that doesn't mean that this thing's for sure heading up to a dollar, but my point is that levels of support that need to be adjusted higher, definitely a good step in the right direction and definitely a nice sign of bullishness. So of course, there's still plenty of work that needs to be done, but my overarching point here is that, yeah, it was a little bit disappointing that the price gave back its gains from where it was at the highs, but the price still was able to, to you know, establish itself by building a, a nicely higher base here at 56. So keep an eye on that going forward as you know the more so ideal level of support. And the reason why I would consider that, definitely, uh, you know, I'm not gonna call it a do or die level, but very important is if the price were to go down there and then continue on down, well, at that point in time, what you have, well, all of a sudden you'd have the price essentially right back to where it was, and not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were not exactly a sign of true power, true strength, or anything like that. But as of right now, uh, the price isn't threatening that level at all. As far as areas of resistance are concerned going forward, so let's get to this change to red for resistance, but the main area of resistance to keep an eye on gonna be right up there at the 65 cent mark. So keep a close eye on 65 cents. But all in all, nice movement today. And uh, the week is young, still three days left, so let's see how this one continues to play out. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm gonna to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.